Hello friends, this is tutorial no, uh, number 102 in this Java programming language tutorials. Ok, we are ready for one more bonus uh, lecture and we will create a player's game application that a uh, couple days ago we uh, we uh, created in Turbo Pascal of course so we we will create this many we are creating uh, many uh, similar applications in different languages Pascal Java C++ uh, uh, and Scala why not uh, okay uh, and this will be the game we we need uh, we need to enter a number uh, it doesn't matter whatever number uh, but uh, it's important we will have 10 players uh, we will create object of player and it will have just one field the points and for example if we type uh, number one player one will uh, uh, we get uh, a point so if we type number five player five will will get a point and we will have 10 players and if we type uh, number zero number zero uh, player 10 will will win the point and it doesn't matter uh, we we can type uh, 100 uh, 105 or 55 43 43 for example play, player 3 because that number ends with number 3 player 3 will uh, will win the point but uh, let's create application uh, we will use this uh, test project okay we have a couple of packages here we will create uh, another package uh, let's create another package uh, and we will we will we don't need a new project uh, but uh, let me think some uh, give some name to this package uh, we will call it uh, players game okay we created our package and now uh, now we need to create object player let's create a class uh, the name of the class will be player and it will have just uh, just one uh, just one field and it will be private it will be integer and it will be uh, points just one field it's enough and the next thing uh, we will create a constructor using this one field and so we will create getters and setters we will use this field points and this is good we created a class uh, with one field created a constructor getters and setters uh, we we don't we will we will not use two string methods and this will be enough and uh, now uh, we will create application class with main method and we will create our application uh, let's class with the name of the class will be application with uh, main method uh, like we will have the similar situation uh, as we did uh, we had in the previous tutorial uh, uh, we will resolve this uh, problem with uh, methods we I think we will need three methods and we will just call them in the main method it should it uh, should be enough uh, now uh, let's create uh, private uh, static we will use a scanner input will be equals to new scanner uh, system dot in and now uh, we will create a vector of uh, players of of object player
The name will be players so and it will be equals to new vector of a player and that should be it and now we just need uh, we just need to uh, to press control shift and all to uh, to import scanner and vector from the java from the java uh, library uh, that's okay and now we can uh, now we can create uh, of course we created a vector of players but we don't have any uh, this uh, this vector is empty now we need to to put uh, to add uh, 10 players uh, into the this vector of players and let's create a method it will be public static void all methods in this application will be void the name of the method will be create players okay we already know the number of players we will uh, uh, it will have uh, 10 players but uh, we just a second uh, we need uh, we will need a local variable in which will be integer x will be equals to zero and now just a moment uh, we will need a while loop while x while x is lesser than 10 because we will have 10 players well x is lesser than uh, than 10 and we will need uh, we will need to create now we will need to create one a uh, player uh, player we will call it uh, p will be equals to new new player and uh, we need to set uh, we need to set a points because we created the constructor uh, points the number of points will be zero because all of the players will start the game with uh, zero points and now what uh, we should do we will just uh, players we will use vector players we will add to this uh, just a second and uh, just a second i forgot here i forgot to use private and uh, static my mistake and now uh, we uh, because uh, we should put private static uh, to we can use this vector players uh, to entire application in all of the methods and of course including main and we will add this uh, player p and now what it should be enough and we will just increment element x and that should be uh, that should be uh, good uh, this uh, this uh, uh, vector uh, we put uh, with this via loop we will put 10 players each time player will be created and will be added to this vector of uh, players and uh, this should be this should be enough and now what uh, we should do uh, of course uh, we can test it but uh, we will continue with another method with this method we created uh, uh we created uh 10 players 
added team players to the to the uh, vector of uh, players. Now, what should uh, should we do? Um, but we can test. Let's let's try to test. Maybe it's better. It will be easier for you to understand. Uh, we will use for each loop just to test for p. But it will be player p from the vector of players. We will just system all print line uh, p dot uh, get points and uh, points of all the players uh, is zero and we should have uh, printed uh, zero ten times and this is good this is the points of our ten players and it is good uh, we will just we will uh, i just use this for each loop to test our application and now we will continue uh, we will create uh, we will create another method public static uh, void now we need a game we need to play the game we have our players now let's let's play uh, we need to enter the number and it will be it will be do while loop. Uh, let's create, but first uh, let's create uh, integer x will be zero because we will use again a while loop, and we will have integer and it can be entry. And now uh, let's create do while loop. Uh, we will entering uh, we will entering numbers. We can enter as many numbers as we want, but uh, until until we or while we uh, we will enter minus one to stop. And uh, let's write it while. Entry not equals to minus one. When we uh, enter minus one, uh, the do while loop will uh, will close. And now, what we need uh, to type a message: system out print line. Enter the number. And we can write enter minus one to to uh, to finish or to end the probe to end the game. This should be good. And we will use our uh, variable entry will be equals to input dot next uh, integer and that should be good but uh, when we enter minus one okay uh, if we enter any any number uh, some of the players will will uh, will get a point will win win the point but uh, when we enter minus one uh, we do, we just want with minus one one we just want to to end the game uh, if we enter minus one player one will not get a point it will be just by default to end the game and let's write if If entry 
not equals to minus one now we will create what we want first uh, how we will define it for example we enter the number 62 if we enter 62 72 or 82 uh, who will win the point it uh, player number two because this uh, number ends with number two if we entering 85 75 player 5 will get a point and player 10 uh, player 10 will win the point if uh, number ends with 0 ok we explain I really hope that you understand it and how we will define it ok we will enter in the number but entry will be equals to entry we are counting uh, uh, from <laughs> 0 to 10 ok uh, uh, we will use uh, we use it uh, we will use mod operator and it will be entry equals to entry mod 10 ok and it, it will uh, count 0 1 until 9 and uh, it will uh, uh, when it comes to 10 it starts again from 0 and that should be that should be enough but maybe we will enter uh, we can also enter a negative number and it will not be it will not be good uh, for example uh, if we enter minus 23 uh, it will not it will write player minus 3 will uh, won the point uh, entry will be equals to we will use uh, met dot abs entry we just want uh, we don't want uh, negative uh, numbers to be printed and we will use uh, to prevent that we will use a met abs and we need one more variable and it will be a score And now, uh, uh, what should we do? Uh, let's uh, let's define our score, and also uh, we have ten players. Uh, we have ten players. One more thing, we have a ten players uh, into the uh, into the vector and. Uh, we have a player and it will be player 0 1 2 3 4 okay players from 1 until 9 they are no problem but uh, we don't want player 0 that player will be player 10 and we will uh, write one if statement if uh, entry equals to zero we will just uh, we will redefine entry will be equals to 10 and now what uh, what we will do Uh, let's write now we will write we will write the score let's define the score a uh, score will be equals uh, to players get entry and get points it will be a score of the player and uh, a score will be equals to score plus one uh, okay and now I will explain first we define a score 
it is a local variable score and will be equal to the point of the players. And this means if we entering uh, 45, entry will be 5 because we use mod 10. And of course we use uh, ABS in the case if we entering minus 45. Mod 10 will be minus 5 and uh, absolute value will be 5. And if uh, and if uh, and score will be equals to uh, player element 5, it will be player 5 score. But it means that uh, player 5 will will win the point and we will increment that by 1. And now uh, what uh, what we will do? Uh, players, we need to set uh, to change the score of the player. Get entry, and we will set score. Uh, it will be set points, and we will use a score. But this is not good. We have this. If entry equals to zero, entry will be equals to ten. We don't have 10 element. We don't have 10 element of the. We don't have 10 element of the vector, and this means. This means that. Uh, that we need. Uh, that uh, we will need to to change this to use this uh, if statement let's cut it here and let's uh, paste it And now we need to write we, we need to write a message uh, which uh, which player won the point uh, we will write player plus Entry and we can use, we will use, uh, maybe we can use just a print and now we will use a print line. We will just write one the point. And I think that should be that should be good. Maybe uh, we could try to test it. Uh, let's try. But we need to call it. We didn't finish with this method, but it it is better to see. Uh, this is this is a game. Now let's run the application, enter the number, enter minus one to end the game. Okay. Uh, we will type, uh, we will type uh, number seven. Okay. Player seven won the point, that should be good. Uh, if we type one, player one won the point, Play, uh, three, player three won the point. Uh, let's use 36. Okay, player 6 won the point. And let's type 20. Okay, this is good. Player 10 won the point. Uh, this should uh, end 100. Player 10 won the point. This is... Uh, this is... Uh, this is good. 
Uh, let's. And we can use just a second. We can use. Uh, and we can use and here to separate. Uh, let me start again. 45, player 5 won the point, 23, player 3 won the point, 100, player 10, 250, okay, and I forgot to type minus 1, okay, uh, the application will end when we enter a minus 1 and this should be good. Uh, but this, uh, we still not finish with this method and when we enter minus one, we want all the result, all of the results of the all, all players to be displayed, displayed and also we want to have displayed their score. Now how we gonna do that? Uh, let's use a while loop. Okay, we define variable x which is 0 and now let's create a while loop while x is a, a lesser and now we will not use it, we can use a 10 but we have our array of players and we will use players dot uh, size. And we need to print a message. Player. Plus, uh, we will need uh, we will need uh, element x. We will use print and we will print a score in the same uh, in the same line but we will give a couple of space score plus uh, players dot uh, get uh, get x and get points. Okay, this will be almost perfect. Uh, we will try to run it before, but first we will need uh, we will need x plus plus. We can forget to increment x. But I think uh, uh, it will not be totally perfect. Now you will see where will be the problem. Okay. 46, uh, 56, 67, 11, 10, and minus 1. Okay, and now we will see what we will happen. Okay, we have all of the players, which is good, and their score. Okay, player 6 has 2 points, we have player 7 with 1 point and player 0 with 1 point but we already okay it will be a lot of easier that we have player 0 okay but it is better to be player 10 but it gives us a little problem uh, it is uh, we define player 10 we define uh, to element 0 of element 0 of this uh, vector and now, uh, what uh, what we what we need to do? We need to use some uh, some type of the camouflage to uh, to uh, okay. We could arrange to to print player ten, but also we can uh, now we we can write if statement if uh, uh, for example. 
to change it if uh, x equals to 0, change it to 10, but uh, uh, we can change it and we can, but uh, just one more thing, if we change to 10, uh, it can help us and maybe we, sh we will do it, but uh, one more thing, the point is, uh, this player 10 will be printed first because this is a first element of the vector and we want uh, players to be printed from player 1 until a uh, player player 9 okay there, there is a couple of ways to resolve it but uh, I will show you one of them for example uh, we can inside this while loop we can create if statement and this will the, uh, this uh, will be players will be printed if x not equals to zero okay we could uh, we could type uh, one if state if x equals to zero x will be 10 and player 10 will be printed and uh, in the next line of code we could back it to, to, to 0 and it should also print all of the players and player 0 would be player player 10 but uh, it will be printed first uh, we will need uh, we will not need a semicolon we will need uh, we will need a body of this if statement we will close that body okay and this should be good now we can try to print it now and it will be good except one more thing 76 72 30 okay and uh, let's uh, let's print minus one and of course it will happen it will happen uh, we have all almost all of the players printed except except uh, uh, player 9 and this means that we didn't print uh, element 0 it is first it is the first element of but we know that it is a first element of the vector and how we can but we can easily print them one this is just one of the way how we can resolve that problem we already know which player is missing it is player 10 but it is first element of the vector because it is element zero and now after this via loop is finished we can just print that player that is missing uh, we don't need a loop for that uh, and we can just even use a string but let's redefine x now will be equals to 10 and we can just uh, we can just uh, uh, we can uh, just uh, we can just uh, just a second we can print a statement this statement should be good players plus player plus x we will use it and it will be player 10 of course and now but here uh, okay I will use it but or maybe I, I will not it is better to print another no, now let's separate the score score will be plus but now we are not uh, we are not uh, we don't we are not in the loop we will not use player dot get x no uh, we will not or oh, we can use player get zero but we will we know that it's a first element of course we could use player get get uh, zero but we know that this is a first element and we are using vector we will just uh, players dot 
uh, first element first element dot get points it is a better now we will not use get x because we know this is a first element f of, this is a this is a this is a vector uh, we will use a score uh, plus uh, players and we will use uh, points of the first element of course instead of this x we we could just type uh, we could just type player uh, a player 10 using a string uh, it is it is the same thing now uh, let's save this and we need to see if uh, everything will work properly uh, enter okay 44 player 4 let's use 20 50 100 200 500 502 and let's finish the game okay let me see here what happens okay here is the our players and here is player 10 has uh, has five points okay one more thing that should we uh, should we do to be in a line here in the while loop we will uh, we will just move score one line more and I think it should be it should be good okay 23 24 36 37 48 50 60 and minus 1 let's finish the game and here is the result of the all players this is one of the camouflage okay this is a player a zero zero uh, player 10 is zero element of the vector but we arranged to print them we didn't print them in the in the via loop we used to print them uh we use we used to print them when this via loop is finished we printed player player number 10 which is this is just one uh, of the way how we can resolve that problem and we uh, we resolve the game uh, we have our game now and we just need one more thing we okay we created the players we played the game we have the results of the game but we uh, we just need to know who won who wants the game and we need a third method uh, but let's go down uh, let's create one more method it will be a public static void and it will be winner Okay, we now we need to know. Uh, uh, we need a winner. It will be a player with most points, with maximum number of points, and we need to know uh, which player is that. Okay, what we will use here? We need. Uh, we will use. Okay, I will use via loop again. Integer. Integer x will be equals to zero uh, we will need integer maximum which will be also a zero and we will need we will need index here uh, we will use that index we need to know because we need to know which is the player uh, we we need to know index of the player it will be zero one two or uh, okay we don't have player zero but we, we will need to change zero to ten it will be easier here uh, the most important thing we did with this player 10 uh, the the greatest camouflage that we did uh, we did here in this line of code now we, we just want uh, we just want uh, let's first we need uh, let's use a while loop of course you can use uh, uh, now uh, in the these applications I'm using while loop you can use uh, if you want for each uh, for each loop or for loop uh, it's uh, up to you I will 
in these tutorials. Uh, okay, when we work uh, with, uh, I don't know, uh, in, in with uh, abstract uh, classes, with interfaces, with maps, we use more for each we use the most, but also we use a for loop. Uh, and maybe you will forget while loop. Now in these bonus lectures we will use more while loop. Okay, uh, and okay, uh, many of you uh, uh, don't like the while loop because even even me, uh, many times I I forget uh, sometimes to increment uh, x. But of course it happens. And let's start. While x is lesser than uh, than players dot size, now uh, let's define if. Uh, let's define. We need to define maximum, and we need if statement. If uh, maximum is a lesser. Uh, then players dot uh, get uh, element uh, x dot get points and now we will define a maximum and I forgot bracket here and if maximum Maximum will be equals to players get element x dot get points. Now we define a maximum, which is which is perfect. And we finish with this while loop. Almost, <laughs> almost finish. Uh, we for uh, we need to increment. Uh, we need to increment uh, a variable x. Now uh, we will need uh, we will use another uh, another for loop another while loop sorry of course we can use uh, a for and what uh, we need to find first let's redefine this x uh, again to a zero and uh, let's use another while loop while x is a lesser than players dot size now what we want to find now we need a, a one uh, we need a boolean and we will need a condition if uh, players dot uh, get uh, get element x uh, dot uh, get points uh, equals we already find define a maximum equals to maximum and this mean index will be equals to index will be equals to x okay if player uh, if player for example if uh, first element which is player 1 has a maximum points index will be one if uh, player three has the most maximum number of points it will be three but uh, what will happen uh, uh, what will happen if uh, uh, zero element first element of the uh, zero element of the player uh, zero which is player 10 has maximum number of points we cannot use index will be zero uh, and now we will need another another if statement if uh, if x if uh, just a second if uh, it will be if index equals to zero We'll just redefine it. Index will be equals to ten. Okay, and this is this is pretty much simple. Okay, if index is zero, I will tell it will not be zero. It will be a ten. 
and this will resolve our problem and that should be good I think uh, this while loop is almost finished okay uh, this if statements and and here this if statement ends here a uh, while loop ends here before while loop is finished we need to increment uh, a variable x and now I think this while loop is good and uh, okay while loop finish here uh, function ends here and now we just need to print a message system out uh, just a second system out print line we'll use player or maybe we will use just a print player plus now we will use uh, index it should be enough and now we will use print line and we could use one and here for the new line we will continue with the text uh, Uh, won the game uh, with and with uh, with how how much points and we we already find a variable we use variable maximum plus points. I think it should it should uh, work properly we will see okay we have well, let me see but we didn't call let's call this uh let's call this function okay let me check the code again okay we didn't forgot to increment x in these while loops Okay, we will we will just use Control uh, Shift and F to to format code well. Control and S to save, and uh, we will go up with this. Now we will see how it will work our application. Uh, let's enter a couple of numbers: uh, thirty-four, seventy-six, uh, eighty-six, uh, ninety-six. Uh, 126 206 uh, 30 40 55 uh, and let's enter minus 1 okay here is the here is the players Pro okay player for 1 point and 5 okay player 6 5 points and okay as you can see player 6 won the game with 5 points and this is good this means this this works uh, good uh, and this okay uh, and uh, and output is well formatted which is which is perfect okay i could use just uh, interpunction interpunction here and just a second okay enter enter minus one to end the game okay i can just start here and i think this is this is this should be this should be fine let's let's play a game 23 13 12 14 okay player four one point 15 player five has won the point 200 player 10 one let's enter the zero uh okay player 10 but let's enter the i forgot to enter neg minus 30 okay here you can see minus 120 player 10 has won the point let's enter minus two player two won the point and this means this work uh, this works perfectly okay 60 70 67 68 69 okay that's enough let's enter uh, minus one okay here is the here is the game okay uh, 
player 1, okay, uh, as you can see, player 10 has the most points with his, has 6 points. Player 10 won the game with 6 points and this means, this means this works uh, perfectly. We can just try once more again, 46, uh, 45, 125, minus 5, minus 15, minus 25, minus 55, of course we can use uh, 80, 80, we can use the same, same numbers, 90, 135, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, a week, 55, 50, minus 50, minus 55, as you can see, this is, this works well, and now, but when I enter minus 1, player 1 will not get a point, because we already explained uh, minus 1 will be just to, to finish the application, let's enter minus 1, ok, and here is the score, as you can see, player 5 has 10 points, and player 5 won the game with 10 points, and this means this works uh, like a charm, perfect, and pretty much sure you can just play a little with this application of course this is very interesting and not so much complicated maybe maybe you were just a little confused when we change of course you can if you want if it's you don't want to change this 0 to 10 from player 0 to, to player 10 you can just use uh, uh, you can use player 0, but uh, I think I didn't like to have player 0 Ok, we started from player 1 and to player 10 In the Turbo Pascal we didn't have that problem But there we can start array We always start in the array from number 1 But ok, uh, other languages are different uh, uh, Almost in every other language first element of the array or list of vector is now element number zero and we created the method first we uh, we created uh, uh, okay uh, object player we created uh, okay the static scanner uh, vector of players we uh, we created this method to create uh, 10 players and put all of them into the into the vector of players and we created here, we created game, we defined it that we will enter in the numbers until we enter minus one. Uh, with, uh, we input our entry number, we redefine it to the, to the mod 10 and with absolute value. We defined it a local variable score. Um, and of course, uh, it, if for example uh, entry is 5, it will uh, give us the score of the 5th element of, uh, of the player 5 And we incremented that score by 1 because this player 5 has won the point And we just have, uh, and we also set that new score And of course in here with this if statement we, we just wanted to uh, player 0, we want to print them as player 10, nothing special, and also we use this another uh, via loop in this uh, method to display all of the players, all, uh, almost all of the players and their scores, uh, because we changed this 0 to 10, we didn't print, uh, we didn't print uh, player uh, play, uh, 0 element, first element of the vector. We didn't print it in this while loop, we uh, printed it, separated after this while loop finish. And all of this, uh, with this method, all of these players are uh, uh, output uh, printed with their score. And in the last, in the last method, we use last method to find. We want to 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 find a player with maximum number of uh, uh, points with maximum score. And of course, we use this. Uh, we use uh, 
local variable x because of the while loops. Uh, we use a uh, variable maximum to find maximum number of uh, points and we use uh, this uh, integer index to, to find out which is the player with maximum number of points and we, uh, we use it, uh, we define our maximum here and we created another while loop to find which is the player who has a maximum number of points and just one more uh, we we define index as x but just in the case because we are changing 0 to 10 if uh, uh, first element first uh, zero element of the vector it, it will be player 0 uh, has maximum score we change it and we change changed the index to number 10 and but I'm pretty much sure and of course we we write a message about that, which is the player with a maximum number of points, of course, uh, and that player uh, won the game. I'm pretty much sure that you like this application. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You have a link in the description. And I will see you in the next tutorial.